Hi everyone, I'm Amy with Eating Healthy Spinning Less, and today's video is a little different. <laughs> I think I said that in the last video, uh, but I just really want to end the year encouraging you to get some of those last minute things done before starting the new year. For me, I really wanted to get my pantry organized. With the last few months of having people over and holidays and buying foods that I don't typically buy, I just realized that my pantry was looking junky and I just really needed it to get organized. So my daughter and I took everything out of the pantry. We put everything in its proper spot and I'm just feeling so good about the pantry. <laughs> what are those things around your house that have kind of been just like eating at you that you're like, I need to get it done, but you just haven't, or you haven't had the time, this is the time. There's only a few days left of 2022, and you wanna start the new year out right. So what are those things that you can do and go do them? <laughs> For me, it was the pantry. Whatever junk drawer you have in your house, go through it. Go through all the paperwork. Just, you want the new year to be like this, a new year, a fresh start. There's no weight or baggage hanging on your shoulders. You want your home to be ready for the new year to help you. This house is a place of peace for my family. And it's so easy though, when we're coming in and out of the home, busy schedules or whatever, things get tossed, thrown, shoved in drawers, especially when company is coming over. <laughs> and then we're left with a mess. So what are those things that we can eliminate? What are those things that we can pick up and clean up so that we start the new month and the new year off on the right foot? So now that we've got our kitchen organized and the junk drawer organized, doesn't it feel better? <laughs> it just feels so good to get it done. And now let's talk about our budget. When I am heading into a new month and a new year, these are the things that I think about. What do I need my grocery budget to be next month? Well, we are in a savings goal period right now because our master bathroom desperately needs to be finished. So we have lowered our grocery budget to $600 a month and I am sticking to that grocery budget. Now, in a couple videos ago, I discussed how we need to separate our household budget from our grocery budget so that when we go grocery shopping, we are not using our grocery money to pay for household and personal care products. You are going to see in January a way different type of Azure Standard video because I want to stock up on the cleaning products that I am using all year long and I want to have a good supply of those. So that's going to be different. So my household budget for January is going to be way bigger than it typically is. But my grocery budget is staying the same. Now I am purchasing food items in that Azure order, but I've already figured out how much is going to come out of my grocery budget for January to compensate for that order. So I am still sticking to my $600 a month grocery budget for the month of January. So these are the things that you need to think about. I like to bulk up on certain items because I can get them for way cheaper per ounce or per pound by doing that. Now you do of course have to have the storage space to store the bulk items, but you can use under the beds, you can use dressers, closets, whatever you have. But for the month of January, I always like to stock up on our household products shampoos, conditioners, body washes, floor cleaner, uh, toilet bowl cleaner, you name it, I'm shopping for it, laundry detergent. I like to just get it all bought. And then during the year, if I need to pick up, you know, a little bit here and there, it's just really no big deal. So something that I shared on Instagram that I wanna share on here as well is it's important to look at the whole year as a budget, as well as a month to month budget. So what I mean by that is we like to purchase that package deal where you get your AC serviced in the spring and then your furnace serviced in the fall. 
that is something that I pay for in April. So I need to start thinking about these upkeep costs of our home and how much it's going to cost us throughout the year. So January is when I stock up on household products. April is when I pay for that package. I do want to get my carpets professionally cleaned. It's about two to $300. So that is something that I need to think about what month would I like to do that. Also, you need to think back to school. In my planner, I have a section where I can write out future planning. I love this planner. If you have not picked up a planner yet for 2023, I will leave the link for you below in this beautiful hydrangea pattern I found on Amazon. So in the planner, I'm able to write out, okay, January is my household products. April is when I'm going to be paying for my AC package. July, I need to make sure I have money for back to school. Every month I'm saving for Christmas. I want to make sure I'm saving this month for birthdays each month. You know, start thinking about your yearly budget and then you'll condense that down into your monthly budget. And thinking about these things is so important because you are the keeper of your home. You are the home economist. You manage the finances of your home. And so you need to be a good steward of that money coming in, going out, coming in, going out every month. You want to have a plan. You want to stick to your plan. And that is exactly what I love doing. And I just absolutely love being intentional about our finances. And that brings me to the next thing I want to talk to you about is a focus word for the new year. So for 2023, our focus word for our family is intentional. We want to be intentional about every aspect of our lives. So some intentional goals that we have is of course saving for our bathroom and getting that done. We want to be really intentional and take our kids on a road trip up north to the Pacific Northwest. Um, we would love to take our children on a mission trip where we can teach them about serving others outside of our own community. These are those wheels that are constantly turning in my head that I'm thinking about. And it's just important to have that word, that focus word. You know, just whatever you're going through, it really is circumstantial in my opinion. And for this year, I really just want to be intentional. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is I think it's so important for us to always be learning something. So what is that one thing that you really want to learn in 2023 and how are you going to get there? So for me personally, it's not going to come at any shock to any of you, but I want to learn how to invest. I have, I do not personally invest and I am going to be opening a Roth IRA in my name. And I think it's such a big deal <laughs> um, because it's scary to me. My husband has investments through his work, but we don't have anything outside of that. How, how do I even do this? This is what I have been reading. I've been reading articles. I've been watching YouTube videos. I have been reaching out to some of my friends on Instagram that are that I know have Roth IRAs asking them questions. I'm starting to compile some information that I'm feeling good about, but I'm telling you when I open that Roth IRA here within the next few days, I feel like it's just going to be staring at me in the face going, come on, Amy, make a decision. And I just am feeling a little frazzled about that, but I'm excited to learn. Another thing that I really want to learn how to prune fruit trees correctly. That would be another great goal for 2023 because I know that there are certain ways that you can prune a fruit tree to not produce, but then you can also prune it to produce in abundance. And I want to learn how to do that. Those are my two things that I want to learn for 2023. What do you want to learn in 2023? Leave it in the comments below. I would love to get some new ideas for the coming years of what are things that we can learn. We should always be learning. We should always be exercising our mind and figuring out how to do different tasks just to be a better you and a better me. I'm so excited to share with you next month some grocery haul videos, how I'm using my $600 grocery budget and my 
huge Azure standard order. I'm excited to share that with you. If there's any recipes that you are wanting to learn how to make, let me know below. I am so excited to be on this journey as the keeper of our home together on Eating Healthy, Spinning Less on YouTube. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I've also been told that some of you are not seeing my videos in your home feed. So make sure you click that little bell button so that you're notified when I post a new video. I love making videos all about handcrafted recipes using fresh ingredients in everyday living. And don't forget, this girl is on a budget. I will see you all in my next video, friends. Bye-bye.